Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Divers Ready, coming to you from the Avello booth at DEMA 2022. Now, last DEMA 2019, I produced a video that was called The Future of Diving, and it is still, to date, the biggest video on our channel. So Jennifer Idle here, my good friend, who you will remember from An American Diver, one of our earliest videos on the channel, has big shoes to fill. Because you're gonna tell us about the Avello system, which is or is not the future of diving. The Avello system is revolutionary. It is absolutely the future of diving. Shoot, tell us all about it. The Avello system consists of a hydro tank and a jet pack. It's a lightweight scuba system that uh, you add water to manage your buoyancy. So it uses water to manage the buoyancy, which means that the system is neutrally buoyant and all depths, and buoyancy control is not depth dependent. Inside the hydro tank is a bladder, and that bladder contains air. We use a battery on one side of the jet pack uh, to power a pump, which then pumps water into the hydro tank. So this is pumping ambient water. If you're diving in fresh water, it's pumping fresh water. If you're diving in salt water, it's pumping salt water Correct. into the cylinder. Correct. So that is displacing space inside the cylinder, and this pump is causing compression. Correct. All right. And this purge valve holds the water in. So you have compressed air inside a bladder wanting to push down into the system at all times. So to let water out, you open the purge valve, the bladder expands and lets water out. You don't have to let all the water out, you can let some of the water out. So by having a neutrally buoyant system that does not change its buoyancy characteristics with depth, it means you touch the system very, very little. You establish neutral buoyancy at the surface by adding a little bit of water. There's an on-off button on the other side of this unit. Uh, you press that, let some water in, go dive down, and you just kick. Uh, for 20 to 30 minutes in your dive, you have no buoyancy changes until you have consumed some gas, which means you lost mass, and become a little bit lighter. At that point, you add more water into the system. Continue diving, neutrally buoyant. At the end of the dive, you open the purge valve and let all the water out, becoming positively buoyant. Okay, so it's the same as a BCD in concept because a BCD is changing your displacement. This is also changing displacement, but instead of adding air into a bladder, you're adding water into the space between the outside of the cylinder and the bladder that's holding the gas inside the cylinder. Is that correct? Absolutely. So full disclosure here, I was actually sent the training materials for the Avello system and probably about six months ago, and I did the e-learning for the course. Um, but why don't you talk a little bit more about the specialist training that you need and what the prerequisites are if you wanted to dive the Avello system? The Avello system has a specialty program we created called Recreational Avello Diver, or RAD. It is an online course, online learning course component and two dives. You need to be an open water certified or higher diver to qualify to take the specialty course. Right, so you can't do your open water in a Novello. You have no. to get open water certified first, learn the basics of scuba diving, and then this is treated kind of like a specialty course. Absolutely. Perfect, all right, cool. So, no BCD? No BCD. No bladder, no jacket? This whole system is a buoyancy compensator device in the tank and all together. However, there's no compressible volume as with what we know as traditional standard BCDs or wings, with backplate and wings. And the difference there is that when you descend in a compressible wing, your wing compresses with depth or decompresses as you ascend. And that is why you build up force, not just flotation, and you can have uncontrolled ascents and descents. With this, there is no change in your buoyancy whether you go up or down. The buoyancy volume is not changing. It's inside the rigid system of the tank. Yes, and it is rigid. It's firm. It's not uh, as hard as an aluminum 80 or something like that, but this is not compressible, right? This stays the same size. So the tank's not shrinking. The bladder inside is being compressed by the water being pumped in. This is actually very hard, and there is an aluminum shell inside. This is a COPV, uh, and it exceeds the durability testing of steel and aluminum tanks. Okay, so there we go. Um, so what is the sort of release plan for this, right? This is brand new on the market. This is your second DEMA? Second DEMA for a Velo. But this is second DEMA. You've got big plans for third DEMA next year. Um, but if you want to get your hands on a Novello system before next DEMA, what do people have to do? We have trips available. So for the first time, anyone who is open water certified or higher can join a Novello experience trip in Maui. 
We are headquartered in Maui and built week-long dive trips where the first day of diving you earn your RAD certification and then the other four days of diving on that trip you dive the Avello system on two tank dives. We have two options, an adventure option and a boat option where you can do all boat diving or all shore diving. All right, so, so people have to travel to Maui, not Iowa or anywhere else. It's for, Maui only right now. For all of 2023, the system is available in Maui. This okay. gives people who want the opportunity to try it an advantage. You'll be the first in the world to have your official RAD certification. Uh, and if you want to teach the system, it provides all the prerequisites you need to qualify for our Avello Pro course. All right. So how's the reception been at DEMA? What are the questions you're getting asked? How are the agencies responding to this? Everyone is interested. Everyone wants a system. Everyone wants to buy a system, and they are really ready. To, well, once you dive the system, you do get a bit mad when you have to go back on open water because it is substantially lighter. It's about 30 pounds lighter than a standard scuba system. 30 pounds, yeah. Okay, so that's the main advantage, right? That's why the design came about was weight reduction, make life easier for divers of all all types and sizes. That, that was the motivation and the impetus for it to be invented. Uh, but then the buoyancy characteristics actually exceed it in value because it's just so much easier and more fun to dive. All right, okay. Uh, well, hopefully one day I'll get to try it out in the water. Uh, there's no demo pool at this, uh, at this DEMA. Uh, there, was, there was some insurance issues after, uh, after a couple of failed demonstrations uh, last time out, so I can't blame them for that. Um, but I'd love to get this thing in the water at some time, so we'll have to set it up. I'm not sure I've got time to go to Maui this week, but, uh, you know, starting next year, who knows? Who knows what's going to happen? Jen, as always, great having you on the channel. You're a huge uh, huge friend to Divers Ready, and uh, congratulations on all your success at uh, Edema and the booth and everything else, and uh, good luck with the product. Appreciate it. Awesome. Guys, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Can we cut or redo? No, no, no cuts. No cuts, no redo. Straight life. Straight life. This is live, by the way. This is going oh, straight this on. This is live. No, I didn't tell you that. No, no you didn't live. tell me that. It's not live.